for the love of God and all that is holy, my kisses How the fuck are ya, you filthy foreskins? Galactic criminal here, and today we got ourselves yet another one from the boys in Mental Cruelty from their upcoming album, A Hill to Die Upon, set to release next month, and I... I am excited. These guys' last two releases were friggin' massive, so I have a pretty strong feeling that this one will be as well, and I'm certainly hoping so, because I had a bit of the COVID blues today, looking for a little pick-me-up. So let's dig in. Mental cruelty. King of fire. One.
overreacting much. <laughs> I have thoughts. I can't even. I seriously can't even. This thing for me, honestly, it's right up there with Ultima Hypocrita, which I still have set for myself personally as Deathcore Track of the Year's Track of the Year. And I feel like this one is like it's right up on that level, but it's less the like black and symphonic and more to like the Deathcore side that these this band originally was that uh, when I first discovered them, just slamming brutal fucking Deathcore band. And this, I feel, lent more toward the deathcore side than the black metal side, where the other tracks, like I said, had lent more toward the black metal side, but it still had the elements of, like, the, the blackened element that was, like, so strewn throughout this track. It was just, man! Just even the breaking up of the opening, the vocals, man, the vocals, and the drums for me, man, the guitar solo, man, oh, my God! Feeling very much like the one from Ultima, he called Krita. Fitting the song very, very, very well, very melodic, and a nice break in the brutality of the track, too. But again, with the fucking, like, the black metal style of blast beats going on throughout this entire thing, the way that the, the vocals mix in with the music. I heard Cardavox Academy, when he did his review of, uh, of Ultima Hypocrita, he kind of mentioned that as well. The more black metal style of mixing when it comes with the, uh, when it comes to the music and the vocals, the vocals kind of sitting along with the music. And normally, I will say... Because I'm a vocals guy, I like the vocals to stand out more so than the, the music because I want to hear that. I want to hear just the brutality of it. But I feel like if it's done right, like it's done here, you can get, you can still get that brutality. You can still get the, the feel of, of the vocals coming out over top of the music while still like blending at the same time. I don't know. I've heard other mixes before where they tried to do something similar, but it just, it's it sort of like, I don't know. It just kind of nerfed the vocals for me kind of hid them behind the track rather than riding along with them as a sort of a, like another instrument rather than like the vocals coming out over top it's like another instrument playing along with everything else which I felt was in here we got some big squeals as well dude vocally again just absolutely fantastic all like the phrasing and everything I thought was really really cool this was great this was awesome man again this is like less black metal a little bit more deathcore the last one, the very last one that we got, A Hill to Die Upon, was very, very black metal. There's almost no deathcore feel to it, right? And then the, the first one that we got was a nice blend of, like, the blackened and deathcore element with the symphonic on top of it. I am very, very, very excited for this album. And I'll, I've said this before, it's not as if I wasn't going to be. I knew we were going to get something fucking fire here, the king of fire. See what I did there? This was great. This was great. I knew it was going to be. It's so nice going in to check something out, knowing that you're not going to let get let down. That would have been a bummer, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm already having a bad day, and then this song sucks. Nope, this was good. This was good, and I feel confident that the rest of the album will be even better. So, hey, let the rest of you fuckers think of this shit. Had you not heard these guys until this point, let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you want to watch it for yourself. So screen full audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.